Omar Karg, um, one of the co-founders of Atticus, and we are killing the expense report. Uh, I know how much you guys all love the expense report. Don't pay more. Uh, <laughs> um, so, just wanted to give you guys a very brief background on Abacus very quickly. Uh, these are my two co-founders, Josh and Ted. Uh, Josh is actually right over there, along with our other colleague, Dev. And uh, this is actually right after, uh, we're about a year old. We launched back in January of last year. Um, and we were out at Y Combinator in California. Uh, right after it ended, we found the only tiki bar in San Francisco. Uh, we had a blast of a time, and then it rolled around 9 p.m. Everything in San Francisco shut down, and we had to go home. But basically, uh, Abacus now, today, we are eight people strong, and we have moved back to New York. We did that right uh, around April of last year, and we've basically been, uh, we used that opportunity right after to uh, raise our seed funding. Uh, so we raised about three and a half million uh, from guys like Bessemer and, and General Catalyst. And basically just been really heads down on product, customer acquisition uh, ever since then, uh, slowly building in those things that are important to uh, ever larger companies uh, and making sure that we build that in. So today we've ramped up to the point where we're around uh, 250 uh, happy customers. Uh, one of ours, Honey, is here in the audience. We're very excited to have you guys here. Um, and just to give you guys a sense, this is the problem that we <laughs> wanted to solve. So, you know, it was all too familiar. People would come, with this concept of gathering together a shoebox full of receipts, storing those for six weeks, and then being like, it's expense report time. Let's sit down and now manually enter these into either a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet or maybe some kind of online software that basically just took that old spreadsheet format and turned it into code. And uh, what we wanted to do was really acknowledge the fact that now that everybody actually has one of these in their pockets, that you no longer need to batch together expenses into a report. It's, it's a relatively arbitrary idea of batching together six weeks worth of expenses when expenses are happening in real time and your phone actually knows where you are when you're expensing in the first place. And so how can we use your geolocation? And if we know what vendor you're actually purchasing at when you're actually <coughs> there, can't we just auto-categorize it for you because we know it's a restaurant? Or if we actually have your credit card hooked up, can't we just ping your phone and have your phone send you what the expense is for and already fill in the vendor and the amount and the category and just let you focus on why am I here in the first place, enter that, submit it, and then, you know what, while we're at it, why don't we just let the manager review and approve everything right from the phone so that you can get reimbursed straight into your bank account before you even get back from your business trip. And so that was the kind of core idea behind Abacus. How can we turn, how can we eliminate this whole <coughs> batch uh, concept of expense reporting, turn it into this real-time employee expense system where it feels much more uh, like a stream of expenses? And now, you know, logical question. As an administrator, how can I then, you know, use this stream of expenses to kind of get what I want out of it as an administrator? And so what we wanted to make sure to do is automate everything in the actual back office for the administrator. So automatically sync into your accounting software. Automatically make sure we handle all the payouts for you. Because if you have a real-time stream of expenses, managers are approving those on the go, you as an administrator don't want to be uploading these into your payroll software all the time. And so Abacus, as soon as the manager approves it, <coughs> administrator reviews it, payment goes straight out into the employee's bank account. Also, the employee communications. Who's going to handle actually letting the employees know about all of these reimbursements coming their way? Abacus will streamline that and make it where the administrator on the finance team can really just focus on, you know, analysis. So, you know, taking it from a rote functional entry of data type of process and turning it into something where you can actually add strategic value to the company. So for example, 
how can you as uh, if you're if you want to help the marketing team understand you know what are the what is the ROI on all of your events that you're doing Abacus can help you recombine these expenses into a dynamic report after the fact so the employees they don't have to worry they don't care they don't want to you know figure out what the ROI on this is but the administrators can then say all right this time period this event these are the employees that were there now we can actually go and figure out what that was for and so let me just dive in and show you guys a little bit about what Abacus actually feels like to use. So first I want to show you guys the mobile app. All right, what you're looking at here is the Abacus iPhone app. And just to show you a little bit about what I was describing earlier, let's pretend I'm an employee and I happen to be at Let's see, what's an interesting location nearby? Let's say I'm at Gochi Japanese Fusion Tapas. Seems like a really interesting spot. And I happen to be at uh, you know, team meal of some sort. And Abacus has already figured out that Gochi naturally is meals related, so we've auto-categorized it for you. I can also jump in and tag exactly who was there with me, so maybe Brad and Caroline. And if I was there with a client, I can also really easily tag which client I was there with and a receipt you can attach on the fly. But ultimately, once I press send, I'm done. Like, right there in 10 seconds, you are done. You don't have to worry about saving this when you get, you know, six, six weeks from now when you actually have time to do that. Um, now let's pretend I'm the manager. So I've switched over to team view so I can view all of my team's expenses. Uh, obviously, in this case, I'm just gonna prove my own, but normally it wouldn't. So let's just jump in and say, I want to review Omar's expenses. All right, I'm taking a look at this. Uh, you know, actually that wasn't entertainment related, that was meals related. Uh, I can go ahead and make any changes that I want to. All of it's captured right down here in the audit trail so that it's all, you know, fully taken care of and uh, the finance team's happy. I'm gonna go ahead and approve this expense. Uh, this one looks good. Anything related to, uh, let's say I have a comment for the employee, I wanna know you know, what was this for? Like, why were you incurring a $200 parking charge? Um, so I can kind of get clarification on any of that, and then whenever I'm ready, I can approve it. I can also come out here, let's say I have a whole bunch of expenses, I can basically just, I can also just like swipe to approve all if I want to. Obviously, I only have one left now, but it's really kind of functional in that way. So I'm gonna leave this so I can show it to you on the web. Um, just jumping over to the web app. So everything that you can do on the mobile phone, you can do on the web, but one of the unique things you'll find is that, unlike a lot of the other things out there, the managers and administrators actually can do everything right from the mobile phone, whether it's making changes to expenses, whether it's approving them, checking the bank transfer history, uh, all of it can be done right from the mobile phone. But some of the interesting stuff I was telling you about before, because all of the metadata is actually being stored on each individual expense, we can now dynamically recombine these in very intelligent ways, or decently intelligent ways. So let's say I want to look at all of the meals-related expenses that took place in February. And so I've basically now pulled up the kind of meals expense report for uh, the month of February and found that there's 17 expenses. But what I want to see is I want to see which teams were actually spending on that, or you know which vendors were we actually spending at, or maybe it's not even about meals. Maybe it's about digging into you know which merchant. Maybe I want to analyze um, you know where which of our teams are spending on a particular merchant, so we can go back to that merchant and renegotiate rates. Or maybe I want to figure out all of our ex uh, all of our um, meals related data and break it out by client so that I can now understand you know what is our customer acquisition cost on certain clients over time and so all of this stuff you can now do by dynamically recombining these expenses so that's on the reporting side now as far as actually organizing the teams uh, with Abacus you can create multiple layers of approval the other fun thing is that a lot of companies well I guess I'm biased, fun in the <coughs> expense report kind of way. So you can actually implement the entire expense policy 
uh, in a completely automated fashion. So rather than having to circulate some PDF with the company's entire expense policy to your employees, knowing perfectly well they're never going to read it, then what you can actually do is program it into Abacus so that only at the time that the expense is being submitted in the first place, the relevant violation is popping up to the employee right then so that they can see, oh, actually, this uh, expense uh, policy is being violated. I can change it right there and then resubmit. So that's the kind of stuff we're trying to do, make it where you can do all of that in real time. So that's the Abacus system. Um, just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and happy to answer any questions. Just a practical experience I had, and that is imagine a large global financial services firm of about 80,000 people. <laughs> and my big frustration was a very simple one. As an enterprise, the firm has very nice volume discounts from airlines and other providers. Yet when I get, got to my expense account, I was forced to purchase certain services at a pre-fixed price. Now the firm honestly didn't know how much volume discount it would get till there was a settlement period. Once the discount was granted and my airline ticket instead of $1,000 was only $900, I never got the $100 credit back. Mm -hmm. How do you bring transparency into a setup like that? Yeah, <laughs> great question. Luckily, right now, we're not dealing with 80,000 employee companies that have those types of issues. Um, someday, if we do get there, then I would love to tackle it. Uh, right now, just as a very baby example of that, uh, you know, we've recently integrated, started integrating with travel providers directly so that we can get those kind of feeds from them. Uh, so one of our new partners, well, actually, we haven't launched it yet, so I won't mention it. But we are actually in the process of doing things like that to help with those types of situations. But yes. Yeah. Um, do any of your customers adhere to any policies, or it's like, like the FCC, or any government? Um, and, and if you are targeting those type of companies in the future, if you're not now, if you are targeting in the future, how, would, how easy would it be for this application to modify it? You know? to fit those requirements. I'll give you an example of, let's say, I used to work at, at Pfizer, and um, uh, I know a lot of folks who um, could only spend a certain amount on, on an expense meal to take out the customer. So how easy can you make that, this tool, take yeah. that into consideration? <coughs> yeah, so with Abacus, just to, you know, uh, just to give you a sense, uh, I think the, the main question was, um, you know, how easy is it to uh, track specific policies and uh, create rules around those kinds of uh, things, especially in regulated places okay. like Pfizer and stuff like that. And so the way that we've actually built Abacus is uh, in a way that you can actually implement rules that can be completely customized in a way that's meaningful to you. So for example, I just wanted to create uh, just an example rule for you. Let's say you know, if you have like a Chinese wall between two different teams, so you can make rules that apply specifically to one group that don't apply to the other. You can also split up the, the clients so that one team can't see the other team's clients, so that's all separated as well. And then you can say stuff like, you know, for this group, the actual per diem is $60, and that's daily, uh, and then you know, block if they try to submit anything above that. And so you can kind of create rules really easily just like that. Yeah. Um, if I, you saw, you showed the photo of like taking pictures of paper receipts, which yes. obviously still happens a lot in people yes. pay cash. But most of what I do now is with paying with stuff online anyway. Yeah. Either online or on my phone. Yeah. Do you work with, does it, I assume that in that case I just, I just flows automatically in and I can check a box or something? How does that work? Yeah, great question. So question was basically, you know, a lot of stuff is not happening in paper anymore, so how can we get these electronic receipts uh, into Abacus, or even if you're just like swiping your card. And what we've done is we've made it where not only can you just forward electronic receipts directly to Abacus by sending it to receipts at abacus.com, and then we'll digitize it for you and help you attach it to your actual expenses, but we've also made it where if you just have a card hooked up, then we'll just send a ping right to your phone and we'll also send this information in here. So for example, you know, let's say I had my Intuit expense that I incurred recently, and then you'll have a little receipts inbox 
where any of those digitized receipts will just be sitting and waiting for you to attach. Uh, the vendor and amount will already be there, uh, and so hopefully we're trying to make it where all of these different streams of data, whether it's geolocation, card data, uh, electronic receipts, are all just flowing in and being made available to you at the right time. Yes. Uh, how do you actually integrate with QuickBooks or any other accounting software? Yeah, great question. So today we're integrated with QuickBooks, Xero, uh, and NetSuite. And what we do is we make it where all of the expenses that are paid out, we basically back them <coughs> together, uh, we create a bill and a corresponding bill payment. Uh, we ensure that all the employee line items are also properly categorized uh, to the appropriate client uh, with the right business description and a link back to the receipt, and then we push it all into the accounting software. Yeah. And just a follow-up question, can you differentiate if the employee, for example, pays something with a corporate card and something with his own card as well? Absolutely. And uh, so just as a personal example, uh, I'm kind of... Uh, <laughs> I, we do all of our books internally so we can feel the pain of what it means to actually reconcile your accounting software. And we have corporate cards and personal reimbursed expenses. So we differentiate and make sure that all of the payments that are actually going out are classified as bills and bill payments. All of the corporate card expenses are pushed into there. And so hopefully when you get into the accounting software, all you have to do is just run down the line hitting match, 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 match in order to reconcile your books and be done. So there's really not uh, anything else that you should have to do there as far as manual data entry. Yes. Me? Yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm always interested in how new technology um, and new data kind of coming together has changed behavior. What types of behavior changes have you seen in these companies? Yeah, awesome question. So one of the big things we were excited about was how can we make it so that instead of employees getting reimbursed, every 30 days, we can make it some crazy number like every two days or three days. And crazily enough, out of over 250 companies that are on Abacus, the average approval time is around three or four days. Um, and so you've now made it where employees, rather than having to uh, float the company for over a month, are actually no longer needing to do that, feel very comfortable transacting on behalf of the business, Many companies switched off of their corporate card programs because they were like, if the, the employees were happy to get the points, incur that, the business had less liability by having corporate cards out there, employees were getting paid quickly, everybody kind of won. Um, not only that, we also had some really interesting use cases coming up. So, for example, because it was so quick to get reimbursed, uh, you know, companies like Pinterest and Dropbox started saying, hey, why don't we use this to reimburse all of our interview candidates? And so interview candidates started using it where it took a minute to get onto Abacus. They would upload their meal, travel, you know, taxi, anything that was related to that, and then they just get reimbursed like the day they got home. And so, you know, that's one example. And then the other one is this whole on-demand economy. You know, companies like Q, which are doing like office management, they can now give it to the employees who are like cleaners in the offices that you know, if you need to go and buy some more, you know, soap or whatever it happens to be, you can do that knowing perfectly well you're going to get reimbursed in a couple of days, and so don't worry about it. 